folks so what we got here is a 2008 saturn or xr the 3.6 v6 obviously gm um, we're going to check the transmission fluid there seems to be some questions as to whether transmission should be overfilled they should be underfilled you check them when they're cold you check them when they're hot what the fluid levels should be what the proper procedure is but this particular vehicle it actually does have a dipstick for the transmission so if we pull this out we just take an initial glance you see right there it says min and max it's way past the max it's almost way over to here so if this were engine oil see where it says see where the little x's are that's where it's supposed to be so if this were engine oil i would tell you absolutely that this thing is overfilled but that's not how transmissions work so on this particular car see it says chk check hot so we pulled it out it looks like it's overfilled so you're concerned maybe my transmission's overfilled but then it says check hot so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the dipstick back in here we're going to start the car, let it run for about 20, 25 minutes, let it get hot, and then I'm going to show you guys the difference in how the fluid looks. Hey folks, so in the first video I showed you guys how to check the transmission fluid. It was cold and it appeared to be overfilled. Now what we've done was we ran the car for about 20, 25 minutes here in the driveway, let it heat up. So now we're going to go ahead and check it, because according to this vehicle, manufacturer, they want you to check it when it's hot. You see where it says min max, and then you go over here, and it's check hot. So we go ahead and we wipe it down, get it so it's nothing on it, put it back in there one more time. Get it in there, turn it in there nice and tight, let it sit for a second, and we pull it back out. And now what you can see, folks, is the transmission fluid is nowhere near up as high as it was before. It's basically down about right over here where these three X's are, and that represents the operating range. So right now, we're on the higher end of the operating range, but we're not overfilled like before. So this shows the difference between where the fluid was before when it was cold and to where it's hot. So when you're running it's hot, the fluid's all going to be up in the transmission, and that's what GM wants you to do. They want to check it hot. So that seems to be the way it is. So check the transmission fluid when it's hot, and you should be good.